And a Colorado town pushing back on the surge of migrants arriving in Denver, which is about 50 miles away, unanimously voting not to be a sanctuary city. Officials in Monument, Colorado, passing a resolution to not accept any buses from Denver carrying migrants, saying they just can't afford the cost and they will not use taxpayer funds. It comes after nearly 38,000 migrants arrived in Denver over just the past year. That is more than any other large city per capita in the country. So let's bring in Monuments Mayor Mitch Lakind. Uh, Mayor, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. First of all, just in your own words, what does it mean for Monument officials to make this declaration? Hi, Nicole, thanks for having me. Um, our decision is not about discrimination or being anti-immigrant. It is about upholding the rule of law and ensuring the safety of our residents and making sure that our taxpayer dollars are being spent effectively. And I think it's important to point out this passed unanimously. Were you at all surprised that there was no votes against this? Everybody agreed to this. Not not too surprised. Um, the budget is is balanced. Um, there is no money set aside for the uh, kind of issues that Denver is experiencing. It was never brought up during our, our budget workshops. So sticking to the fiduciary obligation we have towards our residents, um, it does not surprise me that we were all in agreement on on how our money was going to be spent. You know, and, and Mayor, so many American cities right now are being impacted by the migrant crisis. As I said at the top of this monument, is only about 50 miles away from Denver. Do you think this resolution will stop what's happening in Denver from happening in Monument? Or is this more about trying to slow what could ultimately be inevitable? Well, I, I'm hoping that it will stop it. I'm hoping that uh, Mayor Johnson has heard the message. It's been broadcast multiple times. However, um, a city just southwest of us by about an hour and a half, Canyon City, has already received two vans from a nonprofit uh, of illegal immigrants. And we're hoping that um, the smaller communities like ours in Canyon City are not going to be impacted uh, by what Denver's doing, which is they're kicking out these immigrants after 42 day stays up there. And it's really not sustainable. Mayor, what would you like to see from the federal government? Well, the federal government needs to take action. They've had the ability to take action all along, and they've not done that. They've allowed the borders to remain open, and they need to shut them down so that we can all collectively figure out how we're going to deal with the influx of the immigrants that have already crossed in. You know, and Mayor, there are a lot of critics of this type of legislation, this type of resolution. There's an ethics complaint that's been filed against you, allegations of misuse of taxpayer funds. It's an unrelated matter. But do you think this latest migrant resolution could cause critics to take, take a closer look at everything you and your administration is doing? Oh, I hope not. I don't. No, I don't. I don't think so. And do you think enough is being done by the government to, to try to address this? We know that there has uh, been attempts to try to address this. There hasn't been a lot of progress made. Uh, I, I don't know what the federal government is doing on a regular basis. I know they've been in co communication with various governors. Even Governor Polis was at the White House um, this past week um, asking for the government to step in. Um, I, I don't think they're doing enough quickly enough to uh, avert uh, the amount of people that are coming in. All right. Well, the, monu the mayor of Monument, Colorado, Mitch Lakind, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.